I want to talk about some personal accounts of objectification of women that I've seen people I at the time called friend friends do and if, I want to make clear from the start this is these were in environments where the you know where where one night stands would not be considered the ideal but a long term monogamous relationship and with a you know where where the the woman's you know wants and needs including sexually and her you know se sexuality respected yeah were the values and yeah even in these you know relatively progressive as far as treatment of women goes yeah the the objectification can still take place and it's it's been so normalized and i should have done more to speak up at the time and I urge you to as well. One was a case where a a friend of mine was talking about his girlfriend where he had he had referred to her breasts by a you know a crude term and she clearly took offense and you know him talking to me about it he was laughing at her he was just and and the and there's of course you know people are going to say oh you know you're different the way you are with your girlfriend than the way you are with your friends but just why not respect her if you know she you're you're talking about a part of her body as though yeah turning it into an object it he was talking about her including to me as if he were talking about like a toy or a movie or something not a person and the other case was we were in class in Danish literature class. For, for those not aware, that might sound confusing, I'm Danish, hence, yeah. And I forget the name of the female writer, but she, you know, she was a deeply compelling writer. I do remember some of her works. And yeah, we were learning about her as part of what, what she had done, how influential she had been in Danish literature and the yeah the the teacher was talking about how yeah you know the the impressions that this woman made and then I I don't remember exactly yeah it was probably like a she she projected the, the 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 image of this this woman onto the 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 blackboard or something and you know often with with things like that it's going to be a photograph of the person from late in the you know she she lived a long life and the yeah the photograph was from her at a mature age and immediately one of the you know yeah one of my friends you know whispered he you know not loud enough that the teacher could hear just one word unattractive and just the you know and immediately a a female friend of mine snapped at him and said she looked great 
you know, when, when she was younger. Or, or, yeah, I believe those were her words. And nothing more was really said in the classroom. But afterwards, you know, the, the guy, not to, not to the female friend of mine, but to the other guys, was trying to downplay his, you know, he just said, well, it was just the first thing I thought of, or, you know, some, something along those lines. And, you know, they were laughing at her reaction to that, not to, yeah, you know, because when, when you think about it, the, the fact that, you know, there, there's something that you might mock, that his first his first thought at seeing this woman was rating her attractiveness. This this woman who had done work that had tremendously impacted her field, and that you know, and and the first thing he thinks of is, well, she's not hot, and yeah, it's it's. It, it really points to that it's 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 normalized that when when guys see women the first thing you know they they yeah the, the first thing that goes through their mind is is she attractive and to the point where you know and this this wasn't this wasn't the class clown this wasn't someone who would like all who was always saying offensive stuff just no 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 this was I mean, he was actually, he was slightly shy of a type, but he still felt it, you know, when, when he saw her face, that was the first thing that popped into his head, and he felt comfortable saying it out loud. And afterwards, he didn't apologize to my female friend for having... I mean, even if he didn't quite understand why, the, the fact that he said something like that, that her, her response didn't stop him, get him thinking. You know, why, why am I even rating her attractiveness? And why am I, this is, this is a woman, she had aged very well. But of course, if you're gonna, you know, if, if you're looking at a mature woman and just trying to like compare her to a younger woman, of course, you know, but yeah, that, that, that's the first thing he, he thinks. I mean, the, if, if, if he is like, rating whether or not, I mean, this, this woman had been, but, you know, has been and had been back then dead for, I think, at least 50 years. So if we're talking about, you know, whether or not he was considering sleeping with her, that would probably be the, the more pressing concern. But no, immediately he, you know, he couldn't help but comment on that this was an image of a woman who didn't look attractive to him in the image. And this really says, College Humor very recently did a great video where they pointed out that if women don't wear mascara, everybody, every guy, even the boyfriend, are like, are you coming down with something? Are you, are you okay? Maybe you're, you're a little sick. So they have, you know, they have to wear mascara all the time, or they think, or, or guys will look at them and think there's something wrong because, you know, they don't look attractive without makeup. They can't just look normal, you know. And, yeah, if, and, and this is something that women always have to deal with, that every time they have their picture taken, every time they go out in public, they have to look great or they might you know, be insulted by some guy who looks at them and doesn't think anything anything else. That's the first thing 
that pops into his head and that he might even feel comfortable saying out loud that yeah it it doesn't <laughs> and and again, mind you he didn't he didn't say anything about you know we we read about various male authors of course this is and and that's again something worth noting when a woman really makes an impact on a field that is male dominated you really have that that deserves tremendous respect and yeah the the when when looking at the various male authors who also you know some some were photographs some were accurate drawings you know if you go far enough back just accurate drawings or the the like these these were also mature of age and did not look you know not not quite comparable to younger men at no point did he say you know that oh they grew up they you know they they look terrible in the you know and yeah um, and of course there's some measure of you know guys are expected to look pretty good as well when we go out but if we go out and we don't look great we don't get anywhere near the level of negative attention that women do and I think that's something worth noting and worth trying to do something about. And remember, think, question, research. Don't take anybody else's word for it, and that includes mine. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.